Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Another mystery package in the mail at the uh, mail room today, uh, which means more Kickstarter stuff is coming in. Uh, so now I get to open it up and share that with you. This time around, it wasn't such a mystery what the package was going to be. I had a good shipping uh, notice that came through, which is always nice. That doesn't always happen. But the shipping notice came through, I knew what it was, I was kind of excited because this one's getting uh, out a little late. Uh, this is a, something that was originally supposed to show up before, uh, before Halloween, but they had such a huge response to their project and so many varieties of what needed to be packed and put together uh, in the orders to send out that they missed their planned shipping date. Uh, a few other things went wrong, that always happens. But the, the backers in general seem to be generally okay with it, which is always nice to see. There's some projects that people get really, really bent out of shape, sometimes rightfully so, when a shipping date is missed. Uh, this one wasn't too bad, just about a month or so uh, off target. Uh, and for all completely understandable reasons. Not necessarily all unavoidable reasons, but understandable reasons. So the game. Another tabletop board game. This one is Ghostbusters from Cryptozoic. And uh, I'm, I'm a bit of a uh, Ghostbusters fan myself, and this box is very nice and shiny shinier than I expected it to be, and it's the deluxe edition. I like the fact that it's pretty much the same size as a Trivial Pursuit box, and that's pretty much the uh, deluxe edition font from the Trivial Pursuit box. Uh, it's also got the Kickstarter uh, notation on it, which means this is a pretty unique, uh, pretty unique box. This isn't going to be available anywhere else through anything else officially. Uh, it's got a bunch of extra stuff in it, especially since I did a couple of add-ons. So we've got the box. The box is really solid uh, and really pretty. We start out with the instruction manual, which uh, I've already looked at because they put that up online early. Uh, and it seems like a pretty straightforward uh, zone control type, uh, type combat game. Uh, you're the Ghostbusters, you go after the ghosts as they show up, you have to meet certain objectives in order to clear them all off the board, uh, and then as the game progresses, they get more and more difficult, but your characters advance, and you get more and more special abilities. Uh, we've got a bunch of uh, tiles, which are the uh, board that goes together, so it's always a different setup, which is great for replayability. Uh, I love games like that, that have these tiles that can go together in different configurations, gives you the freedom to uh, really make your own uh, scenarios if you want to. This is the Mass Hysteria uh, package, uh, which is kind of cute to have that labeled there like that. So we will tip that out of here. The uh, Info and art on the back of the box is nice, too. You can see uh, we've got some really large uh, pieces in here. The Stay Puft Marshmallow Man's 100, 100 millimeters or so, uh, as opposed to the 20, 25 millimeter miniatures. When we open this box up, uh, there it is. Looks like there's an arm that fell off. This is one of the problems that uh, they said that is pretty common. Uh, is that one of these characters' arms uh, seems to be breaking off in shipping. Uh, and they're printing, a, or having produced, a whole lot more of these uh, in order to make up for that. So they're, they're doing good uh, among their backers for realizing, admitting problems that have occurred, and uh, coming up with ways of dealing with them as quickly as possible. Uh, this looks like it may be a clean enough uh, break that I can just probably glue it back on without bothering with anything. Uh, so we've got two trays worth of stuff. We've got all of these here, and uh, all the translucent things are ghosts. We, we've also got our uh, 
little demon dogs uh, from from the the first movie. This is stuff uh, from not just the Ghostbusters movie, uh, but also the animated series, uh, the real Ghostbusters, and that's really where. Uh, all the characters come from uh, are from the real Ghostbusters uh, cartoon, and that's what everyone is styled after. So Egon looks like the Egon from the cartoon. Venkman is the Venkman from the cartoon. Uh, they have the uh, second round of Ghostbusters that came out in a cartoon uh, that I've never actually seen, uh, and then the comic books that were based on the cartoon. So it's all real Ghostbusters stuff. So all of these ghosts... Um, are ones that have shown up in the cartoon, in the comics. Uh, they're precariously balanced. Uh, that looks like some of the stuff is 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 kind of fragile. Uh, there's very thin arms on uh, on some of these, uh, and the plastic is relatively uh, rigid in a lot of cases, which I can definitely understand, leading to things breaking in odd ways uh, but for comparison here we have one of our ghostbusters and here we have the stay puffed marshmallow man so not quite as big as in the movie uh, but still uh, a, an obvious challenge when put on the board uh, and there's a couple of a uh, couple of large ones there's the very angry Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, who's translucent red. Uh, there's a Cthulhu-type thing. Um, and of the missing arm here, we have this little beastie, who is uh, another large one, same size as the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Killer toilets. Uh, you may or may not remember those from the, uh, from the cartoon. Uh, so lots of lots of fun stuff here. Uh, the neat thing, uh, the Ecto One, is its own uh, piece in the game. It has some uh, special abilities, comes into play in some unique ways. We have the book, the, the Tobin Spirit Guide here, uh, that has all the cards that come into play in it, which is kind of just a neat. Uh, neat thing and we have the dice including a bunch that glow in the dark uh, which is always kind of neat to see uh, when, when those happen and then bags for numerous things uh, markers that clip on to the uh, to the player boards now I got some other special things this whole package is full of special stuff uh, that, that isn't in the, uh, the regular base game. This is not in the regular base game if you were to buy it in the stores. Um, but I got uh, three extra sets of, uh, of figures. And they come in these neat little boxes that open up like this. And I got ones that... Uh, it's the different sets of Ghostbusters. And I got them in uh, a base color plastic as opposed to the uh, to the bright color plastic. Uh, so I can maybe eventually get around to painting them. Uh, I'm not holding my breath on that, but I have the option. And uh, this is one that I already opened. And uh, they, uh, they're the same molds as the, as the colored ones. It's a slightly different quality of plastic. Uh, so the paint should stick better. They're kind of pre-primed in, in that way. Uh, and the other fancy set is this set of uh, spectral Ghostbusters, which are actually uh, ghosts and villains to put into the game. They glow in the dark. Uh, and they come with their own uh, info card uh, with how they, uh, how they come into play, uh, which is definitely kind of neat. Now this game uh, is for one to four, yeah, one to four players, uh, which means it's one of the only games I have that has a single player option, which means I'll be able to try it out no matter whether anyone shows up uh, or I can drag it to a game night or anything like that. 
uh, so I can play the game myself and uh, maybe do some sort of demo, definitely give a more in-depth review. It should take about an hour to play, uh, so we'll see, uh, we'll see what I can uh, knock out over the next uh, few weeks. Maybe I'll squeeze one in, uh, squeeze, one, squeeze a playthrough in or something like that. Uh, if you are another backer of this project, uh, let me know down in the comments. If you are a Ghostbusters fan, let me know down in the comments. In the description, I'll post a link to the Cryptozoic page. Uh, so you can order one of these retail if you want. It looks like a good game. The playthrough stuff I've watched online makes it look pretty fun. It seems pretty straightforward. And these pieces look pretty darn good, uh, even though some of them may be a little on the fragile side. So uh, if you like the stuff I say, give me a thumbs up down below the video. If you are subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you can get notified when these things come out. If you know anyone else out there who would be interested in the stuff I've been doing, uh, these unboxing videos, movie reviews, all sorts of little things like that, share this or one of my other videos with them so they can come and get involved in the conversation. That's it for tonight. I'm Kier. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.